forgotten me. No. How could I? You have forgotten who you are, and so forgotten me. Look inside yourself, Simba. You are more than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You are my son and the one true king. Remember who you are. No, please, don't leave me. Remember. Father. Remember. Christianity, one of the most powerful and turbulent religions to ever inhabit the world of mankind. A faith practiced by billions. And though being a religion as influential and as ancient as it is, Christianity has been plagued by politics, dissent, hypocrisy, and blatant fraudulence from its inception. Yet, in this present age, where thousands of diverging theories and doctrines on Christianity exist, there must only remain one truth. And the very book that Christians have been going to for divine wisdom and knowledge itself may have these answers. But this book also warns of those who might manipulate the very words within, and of great deceivers and deceptions, and that many will be deceived. So who has the answers? By what medium is Christianity to be practiced, if any at all but Christ? Are the Roman Catholics this answer? The Orthodox Church, the Lutherans, and its subsequent denominations? Or is Christianity something else entirely? Has Christianity been usurped by the very powers that Scripture warns its adherents of? And have the mainstream teachings by pastors and priests alike indeed been the antithesis to what is really to be understood by Scripture and God Himself? Is there a deeper conspiracy behind the masquerade of modern Christianity? And if so, why? Who? And to what end? What are the secrets surrounding the religion whose God has changed the face of the world we walk on from corner to corner forever?